my favorite apps that I've collected over the past three years. So there's some old ones, some new ones, and it's are all free. I think I just said that, but Okay, yay games. I really love games. So, I bet a lot of you already know Bobby Bird is such a huge thing, and I bet all of you also know 2048. Um, but I recently had Flappy 2048, which basically combines both games. You're basically a 2048 tile trying to get a 2048, but it's in the style of Flappy Bird, and you flap around trying to- And then there's Tiny Wings, which is a pretty old app, but it's still really fun, I'm pretty bad at it, but it's basically where you try to like slide down hills, so you pick up speed and try to go as high as you can. And then there's Channel Tile, which I was a bit late on, but it's really fun, it's really simple, but I feel like there are way too many different options you can play this game, I mean like, you're gonna get tired of it. Tap the Frog is one of my favorite games of all time, I had it when I was really young, but a to this day they still update it and when they update it you get even more games and it's amazing because it's still free and the games are super fun. One of the best things about this app is probably the background music which is Neon Cat that plays the whole way through. But it's kind of like the account for any jumping game. This is Burn the Corn and I don't know I just find it really fun to burn it and it's really addicting, it's really easy, but it's really fun, like, you should go check it out. Okay, so now on to photo editing. Can I just say that I was really obsessed with editing apps before because I got really sick of Instagram, so I'm going to show you this app right now, which is Fiscalcap. Like, they give you these filters on it, that's great. This also has a lot of the basics, and it's really helpful, it has a lot, I can't go through all, but it's amazing, so you check it out in the description. Sorry for the fancy lighting change, but I've been filming this all over the place. So this is Plot Candy, and it's an amazing app where you can put a background and take the text out of it. This is Pixlr Express, and it is such a great app for basic editing, filtering, and effects. Enjoy the random giraffe picture. This is Touch Blur, and it's such an amazing app for blurring out backgrounds and making it look really professional. I was super obsessed with like leaks like them, so this one's the possible leaker, and if you guys want more, you can check out iLeaker. Filtergram is one of my all-time favorite editing apps because it has everything, it can do the basics, it can add filters, and it's just perfect. I was recently looking for a blending app, and this one is really good. It's really fast, even for my super slow iPod, so I would suggest it for blending. Tape Look is one of my oldest um, collage apps that I have, and it's been amazing. It's so much you cut out stuff. I really like it. I don't always use Symbolgram, but it is the best app I have found of its kind of putting fancy borders around the pictures. It also has new effects now, which is really cool. Okay, well I think Instagram counts as a photo editing app, and even though it's not really all photo editing, it has some really nice quick fix options and filters in my quick by the way, so feel free to quick me, but not like really quick me. So this app is called Flanto, and it's a really good app to add text, and it has a lot of design options and customization, so it's So this is Adobe, Adobe Ideas, and it's more of an artistic app, but I felt like it would fit in photo editing the most, because you can also edit your photos here, and it's a really creative app. So sometimes I'm not always gaming, and I do like to find apps that can help in my everyday lives, and Spotify has been a great one. It's basically a music database, and it has a lot of nice music that's all sorted into categories, and it can help you discover new bands and singers and songs, and it's really great, and there's also genres, so Sure to find something you like. I don't use Nike Training Club because I'm really lazy, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've tried it a few times. It has so many workouts for so many different purposes, and it's all free. And there's also celebrity workouts that are inspired. Definitely check out these apps. They're really great. And also, since I'm only on iOS 6 because my iPod cannot update to iOS 7, these apps are also accessible to people who have devices that aren't as updated as mine, 
so if you were wondering, I don't usually film here, I'm just out of town. I actually had like 300 apps before and I deleted them, so if you guys want more apps that you've seen on my um, iPod, you can just do it because it's pretty good because I delete all the ones that I don't like because I'm running out of space. I decided I would post every Sunday from now. During the summer, I'm going to try to post every Sunday, but I'm not sure. Please give this video a thumbs up comment down below some advice for my videos and please subscribe. I'd be so happy. Bye guys!